know who Kubo's rival is? Well, if you don't, it's Coding Express. Coding Express is one of the biggest rivals of Kubo! Okay, guys, oh wait, Kubo's still here. Um, Kubo, you know, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're not invited. Now let's continue with the video. Okay, guys, now we're all done with that path. Now let's go to the future and let's see what's in Coding Express. So, da, 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 da. Oh! Magical stickers of coding. That's my favorite. Wooden tracks, pure wood. Guys, this is really awesome how it's made out of wood and it's incredibly good quality. And yeah, we're just gonna have a lot of wooden stuff, but let's go to the best part. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Coding Express. And I'm not even done. There are still a couple more pieces. Okay, let's continue getting the wood pieces out. Guys, the moment you've all been waiting for to get Coding Express out of his bag. <sighs> Look at how beautiful he looks. So majestic. Time to open the tracks with our favorite tool, the screwdriver! No, oh, turns out screwdriver not needed today. It turns out we can open all of these by hand. And there you guys have it. We are officially done with the track. And guys, this track looks amazing and it also took me a lot of time. And of course, this isn't the only type of way to create the track. There are many more ways you can create your own track by yourself. Okay guys, so now it's time to see Coding Express's moves. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's talk about its modes. First of all, we can power it on. It's powered on. Second of all, it has two more modes, but I feel like we should keep the second mode for the end of the video. And let's just stick with the first mode. So, oh, and Coding Express has some lights. Pretty cool. Then if we click on the first mode, he starts to move. This is what I call the first mode. Oh. Just needs a little help there. Now he'll be moving around the whole entire track. Continuously. He just made a full lap around the whole entire track. And he is pretty quick. This is really amazing. You guys think this is a normal train on the track? Oh, you're wrong. Because this train has magical abilities, which is using its powerful stickers to do cool stuff. And now let's see what we can do with the stickers. Okay, guys, so these are Coding Express's stickers. Coding Express's stickers help Coding Express, you know, go throughout the track. Um, whenever Coding Express touches one of them, he has to follow that particular sticker's rule. And we have random, turn around, turn right, stop for three seconds, just a lot of stuff. And now let's just put some stickers. I'm gonna be putting a random right here. Then I'm gonna be putting a, a danger right here. And then I'm gonna be putting a music right here. Now let's power him on. A vicious lion. Then he goes randomly up, then down. And now he starts to dance or make music. And as you guys can see, the random the random works because he either went from here or from here. And what the danger does, 
to where there's a vicious lion and he has to move quickly while the music just makes him play some music. We should try more stickers! Because this is just really fun. I'm gonna be putting a police right here. And now let's try to the next police. Power on, then start. Well, then it's gonna move randomly. Gonna play some music or not. Then it's gonna be a police car. And as you guys can see, all these stickers are making him do a specific thing. Now he's, now there's a lion and he has to go quickly. Then music, play some music. Become a police car. Then moves randomly, I guess. Guys, this is really awesome. To where what he does between all the magical stickers makes it even better. And this is great for kids to learn coding in such an easy and simple way. Guys, another cool thing about Coding Express is that we can put our favorite Lego character on him because I'm choosing Spider-Man. And I'm gonna be putting him on Coding Express right here. Just like that, he goes perfectly on Coding Express. These are a lot of amazing stuff about Coding Express and this isn't the only shape of the track you can have. You can create any type of track you want from making it to a circle into even better than what I just did. And of course, we have a lot of stickers to teach the little kids that are three years old and more. Sure, we have many, many pieces of these stickers that we can use to fill the entire track to make Coding Express and all of this a bunch more fun. This is one of the best robots to teach kids for coding. And there are endless possibilities with Coding Express and many more to go. And now, as I promised, I will be showing you guys the third and final mode. Okay guys, now we're gonna be checking out the third and final mode, which is the free mode. Let's see what it is. First of all, power on! Second of all, free mode activate! And as you guys can see, this is really amazing. To where what Coding Express does in the free mode, he follows your hand at the same speed, either if you're going backward or forward. And if you're going forward, you're moving your hand away from him. If you're going backward, it's basically the opposite, which you're moving towards him. And guys, this is the free mode, and of course, it's really awesome and amazing, and also for Coding Express himself, just so he can get away from all the obstacles. Guys, do you remember Kubo? Kubo is back. And if you guys haven't seen the video for Kubo, I'll be leaving a link down below in the description for you guys to see it. And now, please tell me in the comments down below which one you think is cooler or better, either Coding Express or Kubo, or maybe both of them. Don't forget, to subscribe, hit that notification bell just so you never miss out any new videos and click that like button just so it shows YouTube that you enjoy this video and want more just like it. And I'll be seeing you guys in another video. Bye bye.